Hi everyone, happy Sunday. So as you can tell, I wasn't here yesterday. We can thank DirecTV for that. Well, what happened was on Friday, I ended up calling DirecTV because I've been seeing a lot of internet specials on the internet. And when I called them, I was like, what's going on with the internet specials? Is there any good? Do I need one? They're like, hey, you have a free upgrade and it won't cost you anything if you want to do it. I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So right after I hung up, about five minutes after I hung up, uh, my internet went from zooming fast to null and void. So I called them back and it was 37 minutes to hold online for one of their representatives and sadly I had to go to work. So my family didn't even have internet all day Friday. Then when I called on Saturday, they couldn't figure out what the guy did the day prior, so I started messing with the the back of the router and I finally got it up and going off of the Wi-Fi of my next door neighbor, which I do have permission, so that's a good thing. So anyways, we had to use his internet for the rest of the day on Saturday and of course Sunday. and. Basically, I got to call him on Monday to try to get it fixed. Hopefully, I can get it fixed before I go to Atlanta because my family will go crazy without the internet as fast as it was. Speaking of Atlanta, I have had nine of you guys contact me and said you want to do a small meetup and greet up in Atlanta, possibly at the bar at my hotel. The one problem is, is I don't know my schedule because I'm not going by myself. So I can't even pre-plan anything right now because I have not had three seconds to ask them what's going on. I am going to Atlanta with Rod from here in Salt Lake City. We'll be leaving at 7 o'clock in the morning and we will be touching down in Atlanta somewhere around noonish. Um, and then my, my good friend Dee is going to meet us there and we're going to go out and party and spend the day and do whatever we need to do to get stuff done. So... That's so far what is going on. If you are one of the few people that have contacted me for a meetup and greet up, I still have your phone numbers. I still have all the contact information that I need. So as soon as I know more about what our schedule is in Atlanta, I will certainly get a hold of you. Um, also, speaking of Atlanta, Jim Country Comes to Town asked me a question which I forgot to answer in the question and answers things. Um, in fact, I had it wrote down. I'm not sure why I skipped it, but Jim wanted to know if I was going to be getting the iPhone 4 or the iPhone 4S. I would love to, absolutely would love to, but sadly I am with T-Mobile and T-Mobile does not do iPhone. I can jailbreak an uh, iPhone and bring it over to T-Mobile, but sadly I cannot get out of the contract. Um, I think it's a year and a half that Delta still signed up for my phone. And even at that, uh, if I did want an iPhone 4 or 4S, I would have to have either somebody buy it for me that has an AT&T plan, or I have to get it off of Amazon or eBay or classifieds or, or something like that. And um, at this point, I'm just not ready to spend that much money for a phone because I'm using all my money for personal travel trips that I've been doing almost on a weekly basis. Um, the other day I put up a video about questioning, answering all the questions, and I forgot to put the link of the playlist that I did for all the videos that are in Atlanta, including the one of me singing, Tam. Anyways, I will put that down below, and I'm also going to put it probably right here. Um, and also I've been asked about the beta version of the interwebs. Now I've been playing with that for about two, three days now. Um, the nice thing about it is I can log in here at home when I have decent internet or I can do it at work and I've been playing with it and it's, it's actually really cool. The only thing I can say is trolls need to beware because it will track, um, the one thing I will say is it will track anybody that unsubscribes from you, it's giving you that option to see who unsubscribes from you. So I've been watching who unsubscribes from me and who doesn't and, and stuff like that. And then also um, when somebody puts a thumbs down on it, it makes their channel profile page. You know, when you pull up the profile page and it'll have like 30 profiles and you can look at them, you can actually see which ones give you a thumbs down by either a green or a red and it'll be um, red if it was in this past week or green in this past week and if they are a habitual thumbs downer person um, as in more than five I think it is 
I haven't been playing, I, I've been playing with it, but I haven't figured out what the number is. But I think it's as much as if you've thumbs down somebody, the same person five times like in a row, it will turn that profile picture completely red so you know that person's a problem child. Anyways, uh, I want to really show you a little bit more about that, but sadly, I do not have a program that can record what I'm clicking on and what I'm not. So I'm probably going to have to just take some picture stills of the screen capture and just post it in and maybe just do a voiceover or something like that. Anyways, I'm going to get disturbed in about three seconds. I can see somebody moving towards my door. I will see you the day after tomorrow's yesterday. Bye guys.